to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. You have to love your future as a doctor more than the pain to settle down and say, I, I may not like it. It doesn't, I mean, who would want to touch a cadaver? Who would want to walk with a dead body? Who would want to keep giving people injections all around? I mean, these guys just inject people and do all kinds of things. Who would want to do that? But you have to do it. That's the only way the, uh, what the what's inside that? The um, drug will get into your body. There's no Bluetooth for it. It has to go directly. <laughs> Are we together? So, this guy may look cruel while he's giving you that injection. You have to choose health or to just have a temporal comfort. And you endure the thing and receive it for a few days. And after that, you are fine. This is it. It's amazing that the believers that choose what to believe, that means that, um, by, let me explain what I mean. The believers that sit down and select what to believe according to the comfort it provides are the people who don't have results. Isn't it funny? That believers who do not have results are the ones who sit down and choose and say, no, 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 no. Um, I don't like this. I like this. I don't like this. It's pride. The Bible says when you are ready to receive, there is a quality that is required. It's called meekness. That you receive with meekness the engrafted word. You must embrace the whole counsel of God to experience all of God. Are we learning? What I'm sharing with you is very powerful. This is what will give value to the prayers that we'll have. You know, Africa, we like prayer. And prayer is good. But visionless prayer that is not seen as one of the keys that connects to other keys will only continue to be a dissipation of energy flattery in religion and will never produce results the value of prayer is in the role that it plays while other kingdom principles are kept Prayer does not just work generically, regardless of your obeying other principles. It's why we continue to dissipate spiritual energy and convince ourselves that based on the pain that comes in prayer, God must be answering. Spiritual things are interconnected and the entire system must be healthy for you to experience all of God. If you choose a dimension and leave the rest. So we have people who are always praying. Always delivering something. Always casting out demons. Now please, I, I, I don't say it with, with, a, with a heart of sarcasm at all. Don't, don't find offense in any way. This way, you will never become a portrait of the victory of Christ. It will never truly happen. It was never supposed to be an endless pursuit forever. What then is the excellency of the finished work of Christ? Then on the other hand, we have those who continue to flatter themselves that just by default they are free. Oh boy. And their lives continue to show that this is not correct. When they are sick, they don't say Christ paid for my sickness. They go to the pharmacy and then they believe that every other thing is all right. The possibility of sickness, the possibility of defeat, no matter how temporal, is already a clue that victory is established in Christ from the prophetic standpoint. But it takes your engaging with God to make it manifest. And people stop here and continue to flatter themselves that they are free until they head to the grave. Are we together? I shall not die. You are deteriorating. No, no, God forbid. I know that I'm fine. You are going down. 
you are having all kinds of dreams and nightmares you finish praying immediately and lie down the spirit says he's asleep now let's continue and you get up and say i didn't see anything you are joking there until they kill you in the spirit and you wake up and die physically back again there is something called the death of a fool it is the death that comes as a result of assumption and pride and ignorance we must embrace the whole counsel of christ if you did not prosper by default then you will not stay healthy by default you will not stay delivered by default it has to be engaged through growth they are stabilizers they provide the dimensions of your stability if you're with me say amen, amen. this is the second thing we must learn because I, I, I continue to get tired of believers again and again. It is this, if this kind of teaching does not come, the danger is that you, the man of God, who is always doing the deliverance, you are in trouble. Number one, you will be idolized. And that is not healthy for you. Are we together? Number two, you will be weary. Because even if you delegate someone and say, pray for them, they'll say, I've gone. you do your own prayer again. And you will continue. These people will wear you out. must know the truth and know it enough to set you free are we blessed i wrote something down here our spiritual efficiency as far as living in victory and advancing the cause of the kingdom is concerned will require specific knowledge of the ways the principles the methodologies of the kingdom praise the lord I think there was a time a gentleman sent me a very funny text. I know that he was just, a, I don't know if he was a, a, a male, female, or he just sent me a text and said, Apostle, God has called you to be an apostle to preach Christ crucified, not principles and not systems and strategies. I started interceding for the guy because his, his life will be a compendium of pain. I guarantee you. You see, time is a revealer. And it's terrible to carry so many people in your ignorance only to find out after many decades that you're in trouble. There is a dimension of Jesus called Jesus the way. Jesus the way. Jesus did not just say, I am life. He said, I am the way. A methodology. It is still Jesus. This man who was proposing that believed that for whatever reason that the teaching of the principles of the kingdom would veer people away from Christ if it's not taught with balance if it's taught as an end to itself and not a means to an end I didn't even reply I just felt I love the person who knows maybe the person is following today I just hope that the person has grown because this kind of copycat pride is what is responsible for the eventual pain of many people where a man of God will stand and not know what to believe again. Your ignorance has been represented in every dimension. And now you stand and wonder, what do I do? You must be men and women of conviction based on the truth of God's word. Listen, if you do not know the ways of God, the primary way that we know God is through scripture. The second way we know God is through the names of God. The third way we know God is through the person of Jesus. Jesus, the Bible calls him the, the, the express image of the invisible God. And the last way we know God is through experience. There are not many other ways. These are the ways allocated. And that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture that is able to make you wise unto salvation. It takes wisdom to see the potentials of salvation in your life. It says that you draw with joy out of the wells of salvation. When you know God and encounter him, he will expose you to his ways. It is the knowledge of his ways that brings beauty and glory to your Christian life. Are we together?
two scriptures and then we'll pray. Thank you, Megan. Exodus chapter 6 to our business for the night now. Exodus chapter 6 from verse 6 to 7. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. I will read you out of their bondage and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. Seven. And I will take you to me for a people and I will be to you a God and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God. How do you know? By the mighty acts. There is an experience that I will give you that will cause you and validate to you again that I am the Lord your God which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. Psalm 34 and verse 19. Please look up. It is not the best of God that believers are challenged. However, it is also not unusual in the economy of God that believers are challenged. Listen very carefully. It, while it is true that it is not a, the best reflection of the Zoe life, if and when believers are challenged in any aspect of their life, it is the flawlessness, the dexterity, the ease of their lives show the multifaceted dimensions of God. However, because the treasure is in earthen vessels, it is also not unusual. Please listen carefully and deliver yourself from the ignorance that people continue to propose that make believers feel guilty for being challenged. God, in his dealings with men, knew that there will always be room here and there. Are we together? For the devil to seem to find a place and negate the reality of the victory of Christ. And so God allocated all kinds of systems so that if for any reason as a believer you find yourself in a predicament that is not consistent with what the Bible says should befit you when you are a partaker of eternal life, you don't feel bad. You can now begin to engage the systems allocated. Here's what the Bible says. Many are the afflictions, not of a man. Many are the afflictions of the righteous not a righteous the righteous many are the afflictions of the righteous not the affliction of sinners there is something called the affliction of the righteous now it doesn't really matter how it came the most important thing is that it is there and that there is a provision next um, it says but the Lord this is your advantage Many are the afflictions of an unbeliever. But he will remain there because he does not have the Lord as his anchor. But many are the afflictions of the righteous. The advantage of the righteous in affliction is that he has the Lord who can deliver him out of them all. Out of them all. So the embarrassment is not the challenge. Listen believers. Stop allowing challenges to make you feel I'm not a Christian. Maybe it's because I did not pray. No, no, not at all. Not at all. The Bible tells us that many are the afflictions. So it is not unusual when your prayer request is almost a notebook. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. It says, but the Lord delivered him. So God is a deliverer. He delivers. He delivers him. What is deliverance? I've taught you. Deliverance doesn't just have to do with spirits. No. It's the parting away. Separation between you and the obstacles that impede your progress. It's called deliverance. The moment a platform is created where there is a separation between you and the influences that impede your progress. Be it demonic be it mental, be it physical, in whatever variation and fashion it comes. The Lord delivered him out of them all. 
Many are the afflictions of the righteous. So it is possible that a pastor can have his children go haywire. And while that is happening, rent issues, financial issues. While that is happening, maybe his spiritual life is going down. While that is happening and he sits and feels bad. And some ignorant believer comes and says, oh dear. It's just because you don't know God your life. No, no. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. But when you remain there, then you agree with that situation that the victory of Christ is a lie. That means when you find yourself in that situation, the revelation of the fact that the Lord can bring you out should not allow you to sit there comfort, um, comfortable. Are we together? Don't find comfort in that situation. You get up and begin to press. The woman with the issue of blood knew. She understood that she was a daughter of Abraham. The one who was took, uh, you know, bound, she did not know. But this one knew. So she could not heal herself, but she was already rehearsing. Oh, Jesus should come around this place. As soon as Jesus came, she knew already. She pressed and touched the helm of his garment. Never become comfortable. When your life is yet to reflect the full potentials of that which comes with the life of God, the victorious life. Your assignment as a believer is to continue to scan through every area of your life. To give thanks over the areas that are now reflecting in experience and in reality the victory of Christ. But then to write down and begin to deal decisively with the areas that are yet to confirm to the the reality of the victory of Christ I love Naaman the Bible says Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army he says he was a very valiant man so in one aspect of his life he was doing exceptionally well then the Bible says but he was leprous and I'm sure Naaman just said oh at least I'm a captain it's all right I can live my life like that but a little slave girl came to plant dissatisfaction she said oh that my Lord would listen to me paraphrasing there is a prophet that you can go to in Israel and you go to that prophet and this other side of your life will also come and you know come under alignment and he dragged himself there long story short at the end of it the Bible says he became his body became as fresh as that of a child don't be ashamed of your challenges and your pain but don't be comfortable with them either you should be doing something, praying about it, reading about it. There's, there has, if you are at ease, when things are not going well, it's a sign that you are not a serious believer. It is true that you don't have the power as it were to, to minister healing to yourself. But you should sit down and say, look, where do you know that God is moving? where do you know this situation i may not have the power to change it but i know that this is not how a home should look like we are up today down tomorrow i have read in the bible that there is favor but i must sincerely admit that i've not seen it reflect in experience i will continue to confess favor i will never speak negatively but then i will partner with god in pursuit of the graces the places the dimensions that will make this become my experience that's how we walk in victory. Now, thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. Are we together? And so this, this gentleman now, he knows that this is what the Bible has said about his life. That you shall be the head and not the tail. He's born again. He's believed it. But he's becoming the tail almost forever. And then he goes to read. There has to be something wrong. He doesn't know what is wrong. But his dissatisfaction is attracting the spirit of wisdom. You see that now. He does not know what to do. But one thing he knows is that his life is not yet a reflection of the word of God. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, the excellency of your knowing God is tested when you insist that your life becomes a reflection. That insistence is what the Bible calls faith. It is not the wishing your insistence to see to it i know i don't have a child now no problem i will not kill myself many are the afflictions so there's no embarrassment you can say whatever you want to say 
Ah, call me a barren well, man are not barren. No, barren woman. Are we together? Impotent man. Whatever you want to call, no problem. However, I've read in my Bible that he can make the barren to become a joyful mother. So I will not just conclude and say, well, God, one day. No, 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 no. In your quietness, you say, Lord, just because I said thank you for my condition does not mean I will keep quiet. I'm thanking you because the Bible says, listen, the Bible says in everything gives thanks. It's a law. It has nothing to do with results. I give thanks out of obedience, but I insist out of faith. Please sit down and learn what will give value to a miracle service tonight. So that you will walk out of this place enlightened. These pockets of gaps and imbalances, why believers continue to mock themselves. You insist. And your insistence is luring the spirit of wisdom. Did the Bible not say through desire, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1, through desire, a man having separated himself, he says that he seeketh and intermeddled with all wisdom. As your desire begins to grow, there has to be a way. We can't be begging in this family. My father is a pastor, we are still begging. My mother is an intercessor, we are still begging. My brother is a banker, he's looking like a, like a, a farmer. He's looking like somebody who, who, who just parks death on the road. There has to be a way out. I don't know the way, but I know there is a way. You see it now. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. My lifting has come assignment listen your assignment as a believer is to keep looking at your life and looking at scripture and record what is not matching let that become your project no matter listen 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 in as much as you don't feel bad for where you are you also don't feel good for where you are you have to find the way of growing yourself into the dimension of you that becomes the full expression of the life and the power of God. So a believer who is at ease is a foolish believer because there is a lot of conformity to be done. You may be good in your prayer life, but your finances is, is rubbishing the other part of your, your Christian life. So you must stay and say, thank you Lord for the one I've seen, but show me the one I've not seen. That's why the Bible says meekness. Because you see, let me tell you this. When you have result in one area of your life, usually you would deceive yourself into believing that one result covers for everywhere. No, you have to approach every aspect of the kingdom life uniquely. That you are a prayer warrior doesn't mean you are prosperous. That you are prosperous does not mean you have character. You have to approach these dimensions per dimension. Until every one of it, and let me tell you this. The more you conform and receive results, the more Christ can be seen through you. People look at your life and they can see the completeness. They know that this is how a believer should look like. If you see me limping, I'm a human being. Human beings can limp. There is nothing to be ashamed of. The best. Are we together now? If you see me hungry and I'm not fasting, glory be to God, I'm still alive. But that's not God's best for me. Because if I'm hungry, continually I will die. Are we together? Hunger can kill. It doesn't kill in one day. But eventually. Poverty will not destroy you in one day. But you continue. The day your children can no longer go to school. You will be surprised at what you will do for money. 
it's true that you can say look we don't need a crowd even if it's five people the most important thing is we are doing well excellent after 10 years of five people you will see whether you will remain in ministry or not it is in the multitude of men that is a king's honor are we together so tonight listen to me listen to me very carefully tonight is a prayer of addition lord thank you for this but this area of my life lord you've not visited it yet and i'm i'm i give thanks but i came for this miracle service thanking you for the one you did march april but also admitting that my life is not yet in experience a reflection of all that should be is someone ready to pray lift your voice in one minute and cry to the god of heaven It is not unusual for believers to be afflicted but to remain at ease in the presence of affliction is a sign of insensitivity and a sign that you do not know the counsel of God let God be true let God be true and every man a liar let God be true and every condition a liar Please pray. Shakros Kebaratushia. We are still praying. Let God be true. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen. Listen. Please hear me. In fact, I will, I will, media, if you can do a podcast of this charge uh, and put it separately, I think people will be blessed hearing it. This thing you just had is real deliverance for someone because it's explaining to you why the devil is not afraid of you no fortification that comes through knowledge hear me please tonight is not a night to be ashamed lord i thank you for this but mention the areas that are not yet there and be sincere listen let me tell you listen listen to me listen to me listen to me the bible says as i hear you declare before my ears not as you wish there is nothing to be ashamed of are we together now when you come before god this is like a threshing floor when you go to an injection room with the doctor if they say turn and receive injection you don't say ah doctor no 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 no, no. that's that's not his business the doctor is free you are the one who is in trouble are you getting what i'm saying now Listen to me. If there is any aspect of your life that is not yet reflecting the reality of the Christ life, don't feel bad. Don't let it tear down what God has done. Give thanks for the one he has done. But release your faith and say, Lord, I know there is more. And I'm here tonight as a token of my insistence that my life must become a perfect reflection of all the possibilities that are resident in the Christ. Someone pray. Please lift your voice and pray. Shikaparuta <laughs> salabradigedi. Hallelujah. Psalm thirty four and verse seventeen. Psalm thirty four and verse seventeen. God will only arise to separate you from the hindrances that impede your progress in life when you call the righteous the same righteous many are the afflictions of the righteous and the lord delivers that righteous but it does not come by default that same righteous the righteous must have to cry and say lord i know that many are my afflictions 
I give you thanks in pain, but bring me out of pain. Bring me out of pain. Lift your voice and cry. Please lift your voice and pray. Pray like a priest. Pray like one who is tired of this dimension. Separate me tonight, oh God. Separate me from the influences that impede my progress, that impede the fullness of my destiny in Christ. chapter 21 verse 1 and 2 praise the Lord we are going to pray Genesis chapter 21 from verse 1 and 2 and the Lord visited Sarah as he said there was a day he said it but did not do it there was a day the prophecy was still in motion now the time came when what God said he now did. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Verse 2. And Sarah conceived. This is the proof that God visited her. Something happened in her life that did not happen before. Something happened in her destiny. There has to be proof of something today that was not there yesterday. Lord, visit me tonight. Lift your voice and cry for a visitation. Visit my church. Visit my ministry. Visit my finances. Visit my spiritual life. Is someone pray? And the Lord visited Sarah. And the Lord did unto Sarah. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman. Sergis, 
Serkin al Janna. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One more prayer point, and I'll begin to minister. Please listen. One more prayer point. Listen carefully. He said, tell Pharaoh, let my people go that they may go and serve me. They are not just going out for nothing. Tell Pharaoh, my people need to serve me, but this slavery is a distraction. Tell poverty, my people need to go, but if you don't let, they cannot serve me. Tell failure, tell delay, tell defeat. Hali parus kabaranta katu. Tell a slow place of growth. Tell barrenness. There is a prophet who should have been born. You are stopping the generation from experiencing a prophet. Hallelujah. Now let me give you the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Listen. Anything that will give you the comfort to allow you to reveal Christ and focus on the agenda of God is God's business. The moment you bring his kingdom in the picture, let me tell you, whether you invite it on him or not, it is his business. The key to getting God's attention is to bring Christ into the picture. The moment Christ and the purposes of God is in the picture, God's attention is drawn. What is going on here? When David came to threaten the nation of Israel, it was not a threat. It was, it was not just a threat to a king. It was a threat to a covenant and the continuity of God's program. And he raised David. And David said, Goliath, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? When Haman was plotting to destroy the nation of Israel, God said to kill my people so the Messiah will not come. This is my business now. Let me tell you the truth. Your challenges will remain your business oh, until you bring Christ into the picture. Until you bring the agenda of God. Lord, give me peace so I can serve you. Give me speed so I can serve you. Increase so I can focus. Kabaritata. Shalis Kabaru Sepedia Kata. Pray unto the God that doeth wonders. Lift me, O God, so the nations can see your name and your praise. Let the oil come upon my life. Let the anointing come on my destiny. Mention the area that must reflect Christ in your life. Thank you for this area. But Lord, I arise for this one. I place a demand by faith. I insist by faith. listen please listen to me I want you to be very sensitive the spirit of faith is strong in this place please listen we'll be very fast tonight the real revelation is what you have received now the prayer the miracles and this is something that just comes in one sweep this is the sustaining factor you will marvel and wonder what begins to happen to your life because these are the things that are bought prophecy if you don't put them in place you are wasting your time it doesn't matter what comes please hear me 
whether you are outside following online please i want you to listen there is a god that doeth wonders and god can arise you see the thing with god is it is the process that takes time when the word comes the word is quick 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 you came with all kinds of prayer requests and you think god will answer them moving one by one just one pronunciation and that's the end of it it's gone so we're going to be very very fast i i sensed please listen very carefully i'm going to pray for people but i sensed that one of the the major things that the lord wants to do tonight is first the healing you see every time you see death death and infirmity go together are we together now so the healing that that healing grace we're trusting god that people who have come with all kinds of devilish oppressions but they must be free and then number two i will continue to pray this until i see it in your life i truly believe listen to me that there is a dimension of favor that the church not just individuals must shift into otherwise forget about the ease to serve the purposes of god this issue of god today money tomorrow god today argument final is, is a is a is a demonic thing you must press for these graces as we pray hallelujah father we have come again you are the god that doeth wonders the mighty god of heaven we honor you and we bless you thank you for deliverances thank you for healings thank you for prophecies thank you for the manifestation of your power lord let tonight be a remarkable night shift people shift people shift people take away obstacles and hindrances from their lives in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now we're going please listen we're going to be very fast i already see several manifestations of the angelic in this place now um for those of you who are coming here for the first time listen take away anxiety just relax there is a god who is mighty he will so shift your life in a way that will surprise you are we together now praise the lord thank you bring the lady under the anointing here the power of god is coming on one lady here we have to be very fast now just here i'm seeing a strong anointing of the holy ghost vision now and i'm seeing chains people's feet with chains and the lord is saying this is what has impeded people from making progress you are moving but you are not making progress i'm about to pray for you now please whether you are an usher or not just help the usher so that we are very fast tonight i'm seeing chains i want to pray now in the name that is above all names i declare by the spirit Lord, that anyone here under the sound of my voice, in any of the overflows, inside and outside, bound by darkness, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, right now, be free. I cause those chains. I cause those chains. Please bring them out. I decree and declare. Overflow one. I'm seeing such... A mighty deliverance overflow one just overflow one I'm seeing the power of God come we have to be very fast but I'm praying now you're going to shout that name that is above all names listen this deliverance is not just for you alone some of you came and left your family members for years you are still in the same spot 
You love God, but there is no progress. I want to pray for you now. At the count of three, there's such a strong anointing. In the name of Jesus, as you shout that name, that name that is above all names, I tell you, if God be God, then any chain holding you and holding your family must give way. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Jesus. I cause those chains now. In the name of Jesus, bring them out. Shake the Paruka inside and outside. I decree and declare be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Please, quickly, 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 let's have them outside. Ushers should know that, please, so that we can hurry up and make progress. Shalibros Kabaruda Shalakatos Kebriandas. Alusha Brendegadish. We are still going to pray. I'm seeing fire. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it come on people, not just on chains, feet now. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, every overflow, those following online, this shout of the name of Jesus again. I'm seeing families, what looks like a door, on that chains, it must leave right now. One, two, three. I command every chain. Chain of darkness tying down people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be free now. I need a chain falling. Yeah. I need a chain falling. The Lord is that spirit. The Lord is that spirit. The same spirit that delivers, that heals, the Lord is that spirit, not another. It is the same Lord that gives salvation, that heals. The Lord is that spirit. Hallelujah. I want to rebuke barrenness. Now, first, physical barrenness. But then this barrenness is more than just physical barrenness. A state of unproductivity. And as I pray this prayer, many ladies prophetically, the power of God will come upon you, not necessarily because you are barren, but women stand as gates in the realm of the spirit. And God uses them to signify the opening of gates. In the name that is above all names, I declare right now, even as the Lord is revealing to me, there are all kinds of barrenness in this place. Physical barrenness, financial barrenness, spiritual barrenness. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, at the count of three right now, that anointing is coming on people inside and outside. Those with physical barrenness issues, God is stepping in right now. And those with all kinds of related barrenness issues, God is also stepping in at the count of three. I declare it right now. One, two, three. Let that power touch you right now. I release you. I release you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you by prophecy. I release you. Enter a dimension of fruitfulness. I speak it to your life. I speak it to your business. I bless the word upon you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Madam, please stop this woman for me. Madam, please come. Your life is about to change. I don't know who this woman is. Please, I'll read it. 
this camera and not see Adam as you. Where are you coming from, Adam? I'm coming from the town. Come again, man. From Sabo, from Sabo. From Sabo. I want to pray for you. Number one, please look at me, madam. The pain you experience at your back, huh? that back pain, the Lord is taking it away. Number Amen. two, Amen. God is stepping into your family. Amen. I'm looking at your family and I'm seeing that Amen. your family needs a real miracle. This is, this is an array of witchcraft. And if we don't pray, it will take lives. People will die like chickens. But we are going to pray. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing Kogi State. Kogi State. The power of God is coming upon Kogi State right now. Right now I'm speaking. The power of God is a sign and a wonder how God does this, ladies and gentlemen. Kogi State. You see, for those of you who don't know, when God shows me that, the moment I mention the state, everyone who is part of that state, that anointing, will touch them. It's, it's a sign and a wonder. Is a grace. I declare right now, whether you know your state or not, I'm seeing that map and I send the word. I declare by the spirit, let that anointing, I'm seeing fire rising. Call this state. Shalis Kobarakatai. Prateka Teka Koka Parukata. Embrekadesha. I command liberty by the spirit of the living God. I command liberty by the power of the Holy Ghost that every planting that is not of God associated with that territory. I call for liberty now. Now by the Spirit. Mama, please let me pray for you. I'm going to pray for you, Ma. And it will be like a dream. The way God will honor you and take away sorrow from your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for our mother. Honor this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, I declare over you in the name of Jesus, let everything that looks like shame and reproach and sorrow over you and your family, I cast it out of your life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jennifer. 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 I'm hearing the name Jennifer. We have to really... Jennifer Where are you from? Huh? I've seen this thing before and I've announced it in miracle service There is something called Aleku You, you understand what I'm saying? I'm seeing that name again Where are you coming from? Where is she from? State. You are from Benway yes, State. Yes, we have Aleku there. What? Eh? Aleku. This is what I'm saying. Ah! I know you now. I command that devil ah! out of her life now by the power of the Holy Ghost. See, listen, the Bible says, even the captives of the mighty, the lawful captives, shall be delivered. Every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it. Every challenge. Relative to the grace that confronts him. My friend, this gentleman, tap him for me. Don't worry, let me talk with him. Look at me. The Lord is going to use you mightily. Huh? I'm stretching my hands now. I'm seeing an anointing coming on you. Number one, the grace for intercession. Amen. Number two, the teaching ministry. Amen. I decree and declare. Amen. May you step into that dimension Amen. in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I shift you by prophecy into that dimension in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside, overflow one. The Lord is showing me an elderly woman. It's like you came with your daughter or something. You didn't come alone. Please, if there's such a woman, there come. I'm seeing the Lord is showing me a woman. You came together with your daughter. We have to hurry up because we're going to pray for the sick now. Mighty God. This young lady, look at me, my dear. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That's the end of it. I release you right now.
from everything that represents captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you coming from, Mama? I'm from seeing Abuja. hold on. You came by road? Yes, sir. Kaduna, Abuja. Where do you stay? I stay in a where are you from? From part of Niger. It's Abuja? The, yes. Like a boundary. Yes, sir. And that's where you are coming from. Yes, I want to pray for you. The spirit of death will leave your life and your family. Amen. My dear, this is your daughter. Is that lady your daughter? Yes, sir. I'm going to pray because this lady, as young as she's seen, God is going to use her. There is a grace for favor that is on this lady. You see. Favor. Favor. That's your name. No, it's not like I'm doing an impartation. Huh? Your name is what? What's her name? Favor. Hear me, my dear. The Lord is going to turn your life. You see this lady like this? Don't worry about what you are eating or not eating. You hear what I'm saying? This lady, God is going to honor her. The first miracle God is going to do to your daughter is in her brain. Amen. Because this has been your prayer. Eh? Yes, sir. She's yes, not sir. doing very well in At school. All. This, listen now, let me talk to you. This lady is not a bad lady. She loves, she's a serious lady and a very good and disciplined lady. But this is an attack. I will pray for her. She will go back and you will marvel and wonder at what will happen to this lady. My dear, come, favor. Don't cry, eh? You came for miracle service. Father, the Bible declares that the memory of the just is blessed. I bless your mind. Understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. A family of four ladies, the chain of marital delay is breaking now. No, 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 it's, it's not everybody. I'm, I'm praying that this is an exact prayer to someone right now. I'm seeing, I, I just held this lady and the Lord showed me four, one, two, three, four ladies. By the power of, please, why are they, don't, please don't bring people out that have not called, please. Why are they here? Huh? Where is she from? Overflow one. Okay, this is your daughter. Come, Mama. Where are you from? Where are you coming from? We are from Quarter Two, sir. You are from Quarter Two. Quarter Two. Yes, sir. I have to pray for you. There's somebody here. When it's time to pray, please, no matter what overflow you are in, um, I want to pray for you by myself. When they look at you, they will think you are pregnant, like very evidently pregnant but you are not pregnant this is i don't know what this is this thing is just protruding like this the power of god is coming on that person and that that demonic thing i curse it by the god of heaven he must let you go now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus mama can i pray for you in the name of jesus i'm praying for you ma that everything that wants to cut short your life number one i come against it in the name of jesus and then number two i'm praying for you it's time for you to reap from the fruit of your labor in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ who is this why is she here okay jennifer what's wrong with her huh she's not feeling fine Okay, we'll, we'll pray for the sick. Ah, we have to pray. Oh. Is she mad? No, no. She's just not. Okay. It's, it's before that she was mad, but now it's not like that. She was mad before. Yes. When uh, it has been now uh, one, let's say eight months. Okay. When she came here, so she cannot talk and uh, other like that. She used to. Used to this means when she's talking, so she no talk normally. Okay, we'll pray. We're going to minister to the sick. We have to, if not, we'll, we'll take all the night here. But we'll pray for her. Can she hear me? My dear, how are you? You can hear me? Yes. I will pray for you, eh? And Jesus will heal you. 
because I'm already seeing this lady inside a coffin. With what I'm seeing, this lady will not cross this year. They will just say survive by. But there is a God in heaven. Hallelujah. We have to pray. I hope they are not just coming out at random. Do we have... Huh? I didn't ask them to come out. I said, protocol, you, we should be able to work with the people so that we don't have... You are the one? Come. Where are you from? Paladin. Paladin. Yes. Place your hand on your stomach. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes. Have you gone to the hospital? Yes, I have done many scans. What did they tell you is there? Nothing. Nothing. And yet the stomach is growing and you are not pregnant. Yes. Are you married? About to, sir. About to marry. Is your husband here? Yes, sir. Husband, come. Where is he? The Lord wants to save a big, major marital problem now. Husband, sir, come. Thank you. Please don't be embarrassed. We love you. God just wants to save you. Very little things like this can tear marriage, not into two, into pieces. And want to, want to help them. Where are you coming from, sir? From Samaria. What are you trusting God for? Healing, sir. And God provision for the word. Healing and God provision. Provision? Yes, sir. Uh, are you working? No, sir. Did you apply for a job? Yeah, I've been applying, sir. Because I'm looking, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing a letter. This is why I'm, I'm saying, I don't know. We're going to pray. This is your first time here? No, I've been coming. Okay, been, okay. I will pray for your wife first. Eh? If not, um, I hope I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. Eh? But God is trying to save you from what will make you hate someone you are loving so much now. My dear, you love Jesus. Put your hand there. In the name of Jesus Christ. You, you see how this kind of demonic things are. The stomach is protruding and the machine is not even saying there's fibroid or something. At least if it says there's something, you know what to remove. The machine is showing that this woman is perfectly healthy, yet her stomach is protruding. If you don't understand now, you can put this innocent brother in trouble. You understand what I'm saying? You see how the devil works? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare now. Watch the power of God. Ah, the power of God. Oh, this, let me tell you, the anointing is very powerful. It's not for showmanship. It's like a drug. Just enters your system and it will rubbish anything that is not God. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not waste even if it's one day to be pregnant when it's time. I'm saying this by the Spirit of God. And this, I'm seeing like a black band tied around your stomach. I lose it right now. And I release you. I set you free from this. In the name of Jesus. My friend, I pray for you. Look at me, sir. You believe in Jesus? The budget I'm seeing is very much. You have not even gone. You have not gone near halfway the budget. Eh? Don't be embarrassed. I'm not embarrassing you. You need a real miracle. This one is not just a destiny helper. You need a miracle. Because with what I'm seeing that you wrote as a budget, Kai. When is the wedding? 12th October. 12th of October. God is faithful, eh? I will pray with you. The prophetic dimension of wealth. Truly there is. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Surprise this, my dear brother. More than enough for your wedding in the name of jesus christ and i declare be healed right now be healed completely in the name of jesus be healed completely your name is jennifer okay i'll pray with you come i'll just lay hands on you all this jennifer i'll just lay hands i'm not getting any hold her collect the child please father in the name of jesus christ Take away this reproach that I see in this family. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that the Lord is giving you a new beginning. In Jesus' name. Please come quickly. In the name of Jesus, come my dear. May the Lord bless you and honor you. Come. Reproach is taken from your life. In the name of Jesus. 
the power of God is coming on one ushering lady. It's an ushering lady. I'm seeing a mighty deliverance. Reproach is living right now by the Spirit, whether inside or outside. I'm seeing one ushering lady. The power of God is coming upon her. Father, in the name of Jesus, let that miracle take away reproach in the name of Jesus Christ. Take away reproach. You are Jennifer. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you, my dear. My dear, hold her hands, two of you. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Because both of you need the same miracle. And God is giving you that miracle. He's terminating shame completely from your life. There is, I'm seeing a man here. You are a pastor. I know there are many pastors, I can presume. But who is a pastor here? Sir, please come. You are a pastor where, sir? Come again. I'm seeing, what do you have? I'm, I can't get, let him come. I'm seeing you. You came from where, sir? Benin. Benin. I want to pray for you. Have your church. I want to pray for you. Please stand up, sir. Stand up. You are going to write a book. The Lord is going to anoint you and you will write a book. God will use that book to bless the body and honor you too. It's a grace that I'm praying for you. Number two, sir, I'm seeing the Lord strengthening your understanding. There's a teaching grace that God is releasing upon you. I don't know you and I'm praying for you. And then I'm praying for you. You will see the miraculous in a very strange way. You may not lay hands on people like this, but the spoken word, as you are speaking, you will see God begin to honor you and things begin to happen. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus, I release you into these dimensions in the spirit. And everything that has been said, I command that it must come to pass for you by the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is releasing speed. Now, please hear this. I want to pray. I know that I always pray for this, but I'm about to pray right now. There is a very strong anointing and it's coming on people inside and outside. There are people who have compassed certain realms. God wants to shift them. Please help them. As that anointing comes, sometimes they are going to begin to run by the Spirit. Just run like this, inside or outside. Father, I'm the... Ah, my God. I decree and declare right now by the Spirit of God the grace that brings speed 10 years in one 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 by the spirit of the living god i command speed for you 10 years in one in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare speed over your life in the mighty name of Jesus I declare it you are not wasting your time you are receiving speed in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you are a pastor come it's time to enter a new dimension step into a new level of grace I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost signs and wonders through your hands in the name of Jesus I shift you into a new realm in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit going to the media stand just that media stand I'm seeing and it's still the same grace for speed I'm seeing media stand I'm seeing that grace there are people entering strange realms of speed that God is bringing. I release you 
by this word of prophecy step into that dimension in the name of Jesus no power in existence will stop you hallelujah my dear come this lady on red come quickly please I'm seeing you laughing in the realm of the spirit and the Lord is saying I shall release you to your seasons of laughter in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over you and I declare whatever must happen in your life for laughter to break out I'm declaring to you in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God let it happen to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there are two ladies and three gentlemen the real grace for the prophetic the prophetic I will do an impartation by the end of the service but two ladies and three men a real grace real grace the eyes the eyes to see I quicken that grace quicken that anointing by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah grace please don't think we're wasting our time we're going to pray for the sick my dear come this lady God is visiting your family come and stand here where are your people where do they stay in Samaru here let me tell you the month of September is a strange month of lifting for your family you believe that let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus Christ see let me teach you something you see the word of God is very powerful believe it believe it don't, don't sit arguing and saying will God touch me will it change my life no God will more than surprise you father in the name of Jesus I'm praying for this lady and I decree and declare may the Lord grant you this miracle in the name of Jesus the Lord is touching someone at overflow 2 overflow 2 and the Lord is saying he's taking reproach away. Taking reproach. I'm seeing the power of God come upon someone. Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus Christ. Overflow 2. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for the sick shortly. But I'm seeing. Wow. Usually, I would, not, I would not be the person to talk about these things, but when God does it, uh, we, are, we, we serve his purposes. I'm seeing a grace for miracle alert. This is why I kept quiet, because you will be surprised. That means you will see a lot inside, a lot of monies. There was no transaction to have necessitated it. Now, God does not do this to sponsor laziness, but it's a prophetic dimension. This is what I just saw. I declare by the Spirit of God, Father, every once and again you do this in this house to bring glory to your name. I pray by the Spirit of the living God right now, in the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. For many of us, what will come upon you will, will take away financial pain financial shame in the name of Jesus Christ my friend what do you do come this man this what do you do a businessman sir. a businessman where in Dandume sir come again Dandume Dandume Katsina State Katsina State yes in Dandume, I want to pray for you you love Jesus yes sir don't let anybody don't be embarrassed eh? don't let anybody tell you to do anything diabolic for business favor yes, sir. you see what i'm saying does it make sense to you yes sir. i yes, hope you're not embarrassed yes sir that, don't let anybody tell you that this is what he did that worked and you too you should do it and customers will come it's not true 
listen let me tell you paul can plant apollo can water is only god that brings increase i want to pray for you father what's your name sunday Naemeka. what's that is there a name like that Naemeka. Naemeka. i'm hearing that name i will pray for you sir but the lord is bringing i'm seeing the lord bring a very strange miracle to the person with that name in the name of jesus i take away stagnation from your business i release you by the power of the holy spirit into abundance and into plenty in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the hand of god coming on several people for ministry but listen now this doesn't mean that you just get up and go and start doing ministry but the call of god has been lingering on your life and it's time to answer that call i'm stretching my hands lord i don't know where these people are overflow one overflow two overflow three online in the main auditorium here father anyone that your call up is upon his or her life i'm praying oh god confirm that call right now and let them know that it's not just their imagination i declare by the anointing and by the spirit of god draw them into their various callings into the various mantles the trainings the seasons that they must enter in the realm of the spirit to become mighty men and women of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. What's your name? Okay, I'll pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may God grant you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, huh? I take away everything in your mind that will stop you from being productive I shift you to experience the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah we'll pray for the sick now but I'm seeing a ring in the spirit enter the hand of a lady and then the ring breaks almost immediately now you know that this is already it may be symbolic of marriage or a disastrous thing happening that just scatters it father in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is, but I'm praying right now that anything that will push you into marriage to only last months old, in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing an anointing, my God. Come for direction especially geographic direction the lord is showing me that there are people who came here praying they don't know exactly where to be based this is this this sounds funny but the lord there is an anointing that is coming giving you clear direction in dreams visions prophetic intuitions some of you are saying lord should i stay should i go should i travel should i stay in the country out of the country i'm praying right now the grace for accurate direction in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you we're going to pray for the sick now and all kinds of situations that don't represent the counsel of god we have to pray and trust god we're going to do this very 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 fast i keep seeing something in this front row just these people in front i kept ignoring it but i don't know what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that god is showing me everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was true restoration 
shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen there is somebody here the Lord is bringing an anointing into your life you are getting into oil listen, listen I'm serious now please listen to what I'm saying this can be a life and death prayer you see this spirit of death that is just sweeping around killing people like chickens all around someone will just say headache and fall down and die I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I forbid the earth from receiving your body I forbid the earth from receiving your body and I declare every spirit of kidnapping whether in Zaria here Kaduna that would just allow wicked people to come and kidnap innocent people we we cause that spirit and we bring the perpetrators under judgment two more prayer points were done the dimension of the demonstration of the spirit signs wonders miracles the gifts of the spirit I call that dimension whatever dimension is missing in your life I speak to you please hear me especially if you are in ministry right now and here tonight step into that dimension dreams visions the prophetic the gifts of the spirit being activated in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for everyone who is weary you are tired life has just wrestled with your spiritual fervency and it's as though you are about to give up it's like the grace to continue is not there by the Spirit of God I supply fresh fire for the journey every leader here whether a campus leader prayer group leader, Bible study leader, church pastor whatever kind of group I pray for you. The dimension of grace that will keep the fire in your groups, your fellowship burning. I supply that grace upon you now. We prophesy over Zaria. We speak to the spiritual borders of this city to fight anyone coming into this city to cause trouble or cause confusion in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you every request and every issue that was the reason why you came here I agree with you in the name of Jesus that the next time you come here it will be to testify Jesus and any man who says over his dead body for you to rise may their prayer be answered this night thank you Jesus let me pray the last prayer of restoration I just sense it in my spirit whatever has left your life that should not have left whether it's money you lost money you lost friends, you lost valuable relationships. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the Spirit of God, I call it back into your life now. I call it back into your life now. Praise the Lord. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, we are late, but we cannot close this meeting without giving me an opportunity to hand my life totally to Jesus. Please, let's minimize movement. This for me, I believe, truly without exaggeration, is the greatest miracle. I know that there are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying, Apostle, I want to make my ways right with Jesus. You are here, Overflow 1, 
two, three, four. I want to give you an opportunity in two minutes. Please run overflow three now. You can just move to your projector stand and overflow four because of time. But if you are here, overflow one, two, two B, and then online, please make your way here quickly. Let's celebrate them as they come. You're saying, Apostle, I want to win that war. My friend, keep stretching your leg carefully, eh? You don't have to... Yes, you, the man with the crutch. Keep coming, quickly, please. If there are people coming from outside, please clear the way for them so that they hurry up. Clear the way very quickly for them. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.